right, a beautiful HMV record. This is William Shakespeare, as from Hamlet. Look here upon this picture, Act Three, Scene Three, as I say from Hamlet, and it's uh, Henry Ainley. Look here upon this picture, and on this. The counterfeit presentment of two brothers. See what a grace was seated on this crowd. Hyperion's curls, the front of Jove himself, an eye like Mars to threaten and command, a station like the Herald Mercury, new lighted on a heaven-kissing hill, a combination and a form indeed, where every god did seem to set his seal to give the world assurance of a man. This was your husband. Look you now what follows. Here is your husband. Like a mildewed ear blasting his wholesome brother. Have you eyes? Could you on this fair mountain leave to feed and fatten on this moor? <laughs> Have you eyes? You cannot call it love. For at your age the heyday in the blood is tame. It's humble and wakes upon the judgment. And what judgment would step from this? Do this. Sense sure you have, else could you not have motion, but sure that sense is apoplex. For madness would not err, nor sense to ecstasy was ne'er so thralled, but it reserved some quantity of choice to serve in such a difference. What devil was that thus hath cousined you at Hoodman blind? Eyes without feeling, feeling without sight, Ears without hands or eyes, smelling sand all, or but a sickly part of one true sense could not so move. Oh, shame, where is thy blood? Rebellious hell, if thou canst mutin in a matron's bones, to flaming youth, let virtue be as wax and melt in her own fire. Proclaim no shame when the compulsive ardor gives the charge, since frost itself as actively doth burn, and reason panders will. Right, side two of this lovely, uh, his master's voice, uh, 78 RPM shellac record, a 10 inch. It's uh, from Hamlet, uh, reading by Henry Ainley, How All Occasions, from Hamlet, as I say, Act 4, Scene 4. How stand I then, that have a father killed 
another stained the excitements of my reason and my blood and let all sleep. While to my shame I see the imminent death of 20,000 men that for a fantasy and trick of fame go to their graves like beds, fight for a plot whereon the numbers cannot try the cause which is not too enough and continent to hide the slain. Oh, from this time forth, my thoughts be bloody or be nothing worse.